Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this short video I'm going to be talking about entering the cleaning cycle on the Sage Bambino Plus when it prompts you to. So the Sage or Breville Bambino Plus will prompt you to run a cleaning cycle approximately every 200 shots and by cleaning cycle this means a back flush cycle. Back flushing is when shots are pulled using a blind disc so instead of the water going through the porta filter it back flushes through the group and flushes out the solenoid valve. So if your Bambino Plus is flashing its one and two cup buttons at you this is what you need to do. First Dig out your rubber disc that came with the machine, the cleaning disc. Does it have a hole in it? If it does, then follow the instruction manual, which will probably tell you to put a large container under the porter filter. If it doesn't have a hole in it, like this one doesn't, ignore this part of the instructions. Some models shipped with a disc with a hole hence the instructions to put a container underneath. But then they changed the disc to a standard blind disc and didn't change the instruction manual. So if you've got a standard blind disc like this one with no holes, all the water comes through the three-way solenoid directly into the drip tray. So this is very, very simple. Stick the blind disc into the basket into the porter filter and you'll find it fits the single basket better but it doesn't really matter. Stick the cleaning tablet into the center or if you have powder such as Pulicaf just put a small amount of that into the disc. And by the way if you don't want to pay for the Sage or Breville branded cleaning tablets there are other options. I tend to use Pulicaf and I use this for various other things too such as soaking the baskets and steam on tip and for cleaning the stainless steel machines the outer surface of the stainless steel. You can also get your next Kefisa tablets. But just bear in mind that these aren't exactly the same. I've seen some other videos recommending these over the branded tablets, but these videos have said that they're exactly the same and they're not exactly the same as the branded Sage or Breville tablets. If you look at the data sheets on the Kefisa tablets, and that of the Sage tablets. The Kefisa tablets are made up of a different percentage of the main compounds and contain a couple of other compounds that the Sage or Breville tablets don't. I'm not gonna list them because I can't pronounce them, but if you look up the safety data sheets, you'll see what I'm talking about. They may well do a similar job, but I just wanted to point out that they're not exactly the same. So I can't tell you whether Sage or Breville want you to use their tablets just for business reasons or whether they're safer for their machines. Pulicaf again is similar, but if you look at the data sheets, again, it's not exactly the same. So anyway, stick the tablet in, lock the port filter in, press and hold both shot buttons for about five seconds until the lights of both shot buttons turn solid and then press either of the two shot buttons to begin. And remember, if your blind disc isn't a proper blind disc and has a hole in it, you'll need something under the porter filter. But if it doesn't, you won't need anything as the water will go directly into the drip tray. Once it's done, the lights will stop flashing. It'll go back to the normal mode. And at that point, rinse the drip tray and the porter filter, top up the water tank and pull a few shots worth of water through the porter filter to rinse everything. And now I'll demonstrate. So as you can hopefully see both the buttons are flashing, which indicates the machine wants us to put it into a cleaning cycle or back flush cycle, which Sage or Revel call a cleaning cycle. So let's do that. This is the blind disc. And this is a proper blind disc, so it's got no hole in it. But as I've mentioned, if yours has a hole in it, you'll need to put something under the porter filter. If it hasn't, if it's like this, a standard blanking disc, you don't because everything goes up through the group, through the three-way solenoid and directly into the drip tray. So we've got the disc in the basket and I'm using this bottomless porter filter because I've actually left the standard Sage porter filter at home. I forgot to bring it to the studio because I'm daft. So I'm just using this, I happen to have this to hand. So we'll press and hold the two shot buttons for five seconds. Now 
and as you can see they've both turned solid now I'll press either shot button and it will start if you heard that that was the water being flushed through the solenoid directly into the drip tray in fact i'll take the drip tray off so you can see what's happening
and that's done we're back into the normal mode now and if i'd put a cleaning tablet in i haven't done but if i had put a cleaning tablet in i would now take the porta filter out give it a good rinse give the drip tray a good rinse make sure everything's clean of the detergent but as i say i didn't actually do that i just did it with water not with a cleaning tablet but there you go really straightforward so there you go that's how to run a clean in or back flush cycle when you're prompted to if you want to know how to do this manually when you're not prompted by the machine on the breville version the us and australian versions you can enter this same mode by pressing and holding the two cup shot button and the steam button when the machine is switched off you can't do that on the uk sage version or at least you can't on this version i will do a video shortly on manually back flushing the uk version so click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when i've uploaded that video so thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please click the like button thanks it really helps videos to do better on youtube when you do that and if you're looking for another video to watch why not click here to watch another one of mine and don't forget to become an official coffee botherer you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel and to become a fully accredited coffee brother also known as patreon supporter go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog kev tatty bye